All right, what up to the patrons of Stoke? Sorry for the long message, but I've recently gone through a familiar situation with my lady and I'm unsure how to proceed. So here's the rundown. My roommates and I recently celebrated a 21st birthday over the weekend and we raged hard. The theme was cowboy night, so everybody and their ladies showed up dressed in some fabulous western attire. I took it upon myself to put together a pair of denim assless chaps to not only wow the crowd, but also as a reward for myself for not shying away from depth on leg day. To keep it brief, the fellas loved it. In fact, I placed second in our costume contest. Let's go, dude. My lady, however, did not like my costume at all. At one point in the night, she pulled me aside to tell me that she wasn't comfortable with my cheeky outfit and that she wasn't into it when I put my arm around her like that. <laughs> After the party dispersed and we went home, she and I had a heart-to-heart -heart in which she reminded me of how she doesn't like to feel embarrassed or like all the eyes on her in social settings, such as the root and toot and rager on the ranch. She felt that I had embarrassed the both of, both of us with my brash costume and behavior at the rager, and I just find it hard to agree. I love this girl with all my heart, and I don't want to put her on edge when she and I socialize as a pair. This isn't the first time this has been a problem, so I'm definitely aware of the magnitude of this situation. So, Lords of Stoke, what do I do? Shall I continue to ride by the seat of my assless pants and rage the way I love, or do I pull myself up by my bootstraps and reel it in for the lady I love? Thank you for your wisdom, bros. Oh, P.S., my bare ass was not hanging out of the chaps. I wore two pairs of underwear underneath. So to the best of my knowledge, I hadn't committed any crimes or such. His ass wasn't even showing? Dude, for her to be freaking out and your ass isn't even showing. Yeah. I already thought if your ass was showing, if yeah. I'm just being totally candid, I think you're not. it's harmless fun. Yeah. yeah. And so for her to be, tr be trying to rein that in, yeah. that's not a bad part of yourself. No. And you're giving joy to others and you're feeling joyous in that. Like, that's kind of for me amongst the best human experiences. Yeah. So for her to be like kind of being fuddy duddy about that, I yeah. think that's not cool. And then the yeah. fact that your ass wasn't fucking out. Yeah. You're wearing two pairs of boxers. Yeah. That's like not even a thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, Prince did it. Prince does yeah, it. Can't, can't not be cool. Right. Exactly. And, and you don't feel bad. You know, the answer to that. I, I almost said his name. Uh, you don't, you know, you know, dude. Yeah. You know, bro. Well, here's the thing. It's like, he wants to live his truth. He had a lot of fun. Assless chaps. I love it. Everyone at the party loved it. He got second place. I mean, it wasn't like he was thrown out of the party. Why Why yeah. should she be so embarrassed? And I think... It's, it's her like, parents, dude. She came yeah. from a house where, like, if you stick out, you're shaming the folks. Right. Yeah. I think... Um, I mean, if his ass was out, he would have won first. That's true too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. first yeah. place goes oh, to, the, to the person who like, commits. How did he yeah. not win first? Now I know. Now we know. Yeah. Great call. Yeah, dude. I, I think I would talk to her and be like, "Look, you can, can try to control me, but you're putting a lion in a cage, and eventually, I'm gonna explode, and you know, I'm gonna have to show my ass for real." You're trying to rope this bronco. And yeah. I'm gonna buck. That's yeah. the thing. You guys are gonna be at the Abbey. You're gonna be watching all these libertine gay dudes getting after it on elevated surfaces, and you're gonna be like, "I want that. I exactly. want to be a part of that." Yeah. And then you're gonna be in pain that you can't do it because, like, she's not gonna. She's gonna judge you for it, and you know there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. So you just gotta. You can't live that life, man. He's too no. young. He's, yeah, he's, he's too, too young. young. Yeah, you gotta let loose, and you gotta, uh, uh, you know, you gotta talk to her about how. You know, you got a wild side and you need to explore it. Yeah, and it's it's a nice wild side. Yeah. yeah. You're not I, like I think lighting she's, cars on fire. I think she, yeah. yeah, I think she was being super unfair and uh, honestly, kind of a boner jam. I think she needs to find a friend because if it comes to you, it might be, you know, she'll think you're biased. She needs to get a friend. She needs to go on like an eat, pray, love journey of right. like finding her own assless chaps. Right. And like find that expression in herself. So then, because ideally, you know, I don't want you to break up with someone. I want you guys to hold hands with your asses out. And yeah. I think that can happen. But you got to tell her, like, look, you need to, like, uncork a little bit. Yeah. Look, my name is, my name is the Slayer. Okay? Yeah. I'm Big Rod. And my ass cannot be covered doesn't at a hoedown. It you're, cannot be covered at a hoedown. Slayer, your ass deserves to be out 100%. Thank you so much, Big Rod. When I don't see your ass, I get sad. And I know the rest of the crew does too. We're all on our bikes and we look over there and we're like, why the fuck are Chad's asses covered? And then whenever I see your butt, I push a little harder on my bike. I have a better day. I need that. I don't know why your old lady's all haranguing you. I think you're a great guy. I think you got a nice tush and I think you're doing everything right. That's my opinion. 
But hey, man, I'm just a biker dude. I don't know about your personal life or nothing, but that's how I feel, man. Big Rock, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something right quick? Yeah. But dang. Man. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to say that, man. Well, my, I knew you were going to say something. I didn't know it, you were going to say, but dang. It, it came out of me and I had to say, you know, I say it sparingly, too. I only say it when I'm really riled up. I haven't heard you say it in three years. When I'm root tooting and I'm cocking my guns back and shooting at the Bronco that's coming after my hog. I haven't heard you say it in three years since your ass got covered. That's the first time I heard you say dying in three years. You know, my lady, I mean, you know her, Roseanne. Good lady. She makes a mean casserole. But she doesn't like my ass. And it hurts my feelings and- when you told me she makes you go to the bathroom with yeah. your pants on and you just have to put holes in all your jeans, I thought that was terrible. That seemed like excessive overkill and just a ruining of a good pair. You're buying new jeans every day. God. Big Rod, she made me pork with the with the hole in my in my britches. She makes you shower with your jeans on. It's crazy, man. That's I came right. over. I was you're like, I'm in the shower. Come on in. I was like, all right, well, that's cool. I'm probably going to see him naked. I walk in. You you got pants on, and I sh- your nipples were covered. My nipples were covered. I show up to the Harley dealership. And they're like, "Why do you have su- Why do you have suds on your dungarees?" I'm like, "Cause Roseanne, she doesn't like my new body." She's a good lady. <laughs> All right, <laughs> she's a good lady. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to besmirch her too much. If you need advice, these guys are really not.